morning guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are fishing on Giant Francis Lake again. Hopefully we're gonna go find some big lakers. But we just finished launching the boat. Just leaving the ferry landing here. Uh, cruise down the lake and see if we can find a good spot to fish and then try to catch some lakers. Let's get at her. guys another nice little laker not too bad so for location wise for jigging i'm fishing off a point and then there's where i'm sitting in my 113 depending which way the boat swings up to 117 feet and i'm on anchor lock on my tarova and i know that it gets way deeper oh a little ways this way and then this way it still gets a little bit deeper but right in front of me it comes up to quite a hump so i'm actually fishing kind of on the break or the drop and same thing just been bouncing on the bottom but when looking for a lake trout spot it's nice to look for points are always a good spot to start and then like i got my mapping on my garmin on and looking for reefs or rises on the bottom and then stopping if i see some fish and then jigging whereas like right now i I've marked fish trolling through here, so I stopped and I just started jigging, and sure enough, it paid off, but I haven't fished this lake a whole lot, so it's a definitely a learning experience for myself, but as you can see, it's huge. It's enormous. Like, it's such a big lake. Like You could spend your whole life fishing this one lake. It's so big. There we go. Come on, hit it again. Oh. Sometimes you lose them. Felt like a decent one too. Hey guys, just figured I'd go over a little bit what I'm using right now. I tried trolling probably for the first hour. And I just kept staying in bottom. <laughs> Sometimes it happens. So I've been jigging now for a bit. I've been using a tube jig for the last, I don't know, 20 minutes and I've already had two fish on it and I've lost them both. This is just a speck natural shad dark white. Real good. Works good. We'll catch one on there yet. Before that I was trying something that I haven't actually really put much effort in lately and I've caught two fish on it now and it is a bondi bait. This is like the biggest one they make. I have a mini one somewhere but I cannot find it. But I've caught two fish on this now. Same thing, just pulling it up and just letting it wobble down. It's been I've had quite a few hits on it, and I've caught two on it now, so that's pretty good. Um, this is in the chantreuse color. I have a white one too, but I like I said, I can't find it right now. So hopefully, it's somewhere in one of these tackle boxes. I'll probably switch up to that one if I can find it. But the sun came out again, stopped raining, so. Okay, have a sandwich and see if we can catch some more fish.
Wow. This is not a loose drag either. We got ourselves a little bit better for one today. Another one followed him up. Ooh, I don't like where he's going. Oh, that's, oh it's a burbot. Whoa, that is a big burbot, guys. That's a really nice fur bed. Jeepers. Wow, oh, two species, that's cool. Don't catch too many of these during the day. At least I never do. This is a burbot. This is a very nice fur bed. It is big. He is super thick. Man, that's a cool fish. And they taste awesome. I know people in some places don't like them, but this is freshwater ling, man. It's so good. So delicious. Deep fried. This is a much better laker, guys. Big bubbles. Big bubbles, look at them all. Oh yeah, it's a shark. You got a shark, guys. Oh, we got him! It's a shark. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about guys. That is a beautiful lake trout. Big, mean, and ready to eat. Yeah, that's awesome. We'll get this baby back. Oh, thank you so much. Gone. Yes. Yes, guys, that is awesome. So pumped now. Oh, just, I don't even know what to say. Lost for words. It's just so nice to catch a nice big fish. So awesome. All right, of course. Time for another one. So I figured I'd just go over what I'm using a little bit. My rod is a Quantum QX36 Performance Series. It's actually a new rod to me. It's a six foot six, medium heavy, fast. Eight to 17 pound line. I actually have 20 pound braid on it. And then what I've been catching most of everything on, other than those two first ones, tube jig. I'm not doing anything like overly bouncing it on the bottom, reeling it up, letting it down, bouncing it on the bottom. And they've been hitting it on the paws, they've been hitting it on the rays, they've been hitting just pounding in the mud. Yeah, so that caught all the burbot and the big lake trout. So you can't go wrong with a tube ounce or a tube jig, sorry. They just such a great bait. These ones are from Water Wolf Lures. They're excellent. Like this one's a little beat up now, but like 
I think I've caught like 10 fish on this one tube and it's still working. So can't complain about that. That's awesome. Nice, good quality. And then it's also on a pen fierce three reel. It's probably a little overkill for this rod. It's a 3000 series, but I like to have a little extra line just in case they go pretty deep sometimes for lake trout. So it's nice to have a little extra line. It's up again, guys. In the rain. Ooh, I think it's another burbot. Well, it's fighting. Yeah, it's another burbot, guys. Yeah, I'm not a very good singer. That's okay. I think this one's a Laker. A lot more head shakes. Another big burbot, guys. The jeepers here. This is crazy. This one's not even bigger than the last one. Oh my goodness. Another just chunky one. It's just ridiculous. I've never had a day like this where the lake, the Lakers are biting and the burbot. Just got hammered. What do we got this time, guys? Burbot or Laker? Fighting a little bit more like a Laker. No, I think it's Burb. Jeepers. Maybe not. If it is a burb, it's big.
Jeepers, guys, it's an absolutely enormous burbot. This is just ridiculous. Well, that's gonna do it for this one, guys. It's been an excellent day of fishing, caught so many. It's been probably one of the funnest days ever. Like, just unreal action. But lightning and thunder are starting to roll in, so I'm gonna get off the lake. Um, thanks for coming along on this adventure, and if you haven't, please like this video and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the water.